The next stage of our formatting will be the insertion of page numbers through the different sections. However, and as in the previous session, we put a section break in here and this will allow us to place Roman numerals prior to the section break and start with normal numeration in the first chapter of the thesis or dissertation in this immediate section. So the first step would be to insert the Roman numerals and we'll scroll up so we're in the area above the section break and we'll click within there. We'll then go to insert from the top ribbon and to page number and we can go down here and select bottom of page and you can select whichever you want. My preference would just be going for this plain number and to select that. And this will put the numbers in the bottom corner of this page. But as you can see, they're not in the format that we'd like them to be in. And this takes us in this particular version to here. But if we can go back to insert, get the same menu for the page number, and we click on it, we can go to format page numbers. And for this section prior to the section break, we can go to here and change the page numbers to either the upper or lowercase Roman numerals, whichever one you want. So we'll go for uppercase Roman numerals, say OK, and you'll see now it changes this to uppercase Roman numerals. So we have one there, page two there, and then we pass the section break here. And as we get to the first stage of the document, you can see this starts from four. So what we'll do because we're in header and footers, if we'll just double click on the page, take us back to it, we'll scroll down. So we're in one of the paragraphs of the first section we want to start with normal numeration, which would be your introduction, obviously. And we'll go back again to page number and we'll format the page numbers. And from here, this is the correct format we want. But we want them to start at one. So we can just go down to here and click on start at and this will start our page numbers from page number one here. And then we can click and say OK. And if we scroll down to the bottom of this page, we can see this is page one. And as we go up prior to this, we have Roman numerals in the previous section. And this occurs because of the section break. Importantly, what you need to remember is once you have a section break, if you now apply further formatting to the pages, such as changing the margins, you'll need to apply that to all of the document because a section break splits your formatting between two aspects.